Hey guys, Tom McKeown, www.yourtruechange.com. Thanks for joining. Uh, thanks whether you join me from the Facebook page, from my website, uh, or from my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, right now it is Wednesday, November the 27th. Um, it is uh, the night before Thanksgiving. And uh, boy, I cannot tell you just how my life has changed in only... Uh, 12 short months. Uh, 12 months ago today, I was in, in a, in a two-hour each way commute uh, from my home in freezing Connecticut, uh, uh, going to New York City uh, and back every single day uh, with uh, a couple of kids uh, with a mortgage that was underwater, meaning that we, uh, we, that, that the value uh, of the mortgage was worth more than the house itself, um, really, you know, on the verge of uh, being kicked out um, having a job uh, that really wasn't taking me uh, anywhere, um, and now here I am, 12 months later, uh, in a house twice the size, uh, making three to four times the amount of money that I did just one year ago. Um, being able to work from home, being able to work from anywhere I want, uh, having a new addition to my family, uh, you know, living in a part of the country that makes more sense for my family with better weather uh, and a more laid-back lifestyle. And I just can't tell you uh, how uh, happy and thrilled uh, I am to see the changes that have taken place in my life in only these 12 short months. And really what I want to talk to you is my three critical ingredients uh, to success and uh, how uh, I, along with the help of my wife, of course, attained uh, this, I guess, relatively instant success. And, you know, you hear a lot of, uh, let's say, gibberish and a lot of different things out there. And some of, some of the ingredients to success uh, are absolutely um, formidable and legitimate and uh, should be admired and should be followed. Uh, however, you know, much of it all kind of sounds the same. But what I want to tell you is something that, you know, is likely unpopular. Uh, and really my three ingredients to massive success in a very short period of time uh, are going to be the following, you know, number one is think of your absolute biggest fears and face them. Because if you do this, what's going to happen is you are going to train yourself, you are going to prepare yourself to be somebody uh, who uh, literally can deal and put up with anything. Right. So if you're someone that has a phobia of snakes or a phobia of skydiving or a phobia of the most common thing, public speaking, go and do it. OK. I myself had a, had a phobia for public speaking. I had a phobia thinking, what if I go on social media and put my life uh, out there in front of everybody? What's going to happen? And once you go and you face those biggest fears that you have and you realize that the fears were never justified in the first place and that everything was in your mind, what winds up happening is it's a reassurance to you that typically anything in your mind that was of fear, that was of negativity, that was, of, that was of adversity or anything against your goal, you suddenly sit there and say, you know what? It's probably all bullshit. I probably am a lot more capable and I probably can tackle many more fears and many more obstacles and many more adversaries uh, in my life. So if you face that biggest fear, that will be a trickle-down effect in a waterfall that will open the floodgates for you. That is number one. Number two, be willing and put people on your back, okay? So it is important to face your biggest fear, and it is important to be a true leader. Be somebody who is not out there about yourself, who is not out there just looking, you know, to get a quick buck here and there uh, or to advance yourself, okay? Go out there and always be out there for others no matter what and be willing to go forward and do what it takes to put people on your back. Put in the extra time. Do what you have to do to help people out. Make people a priority first, and then the dividends will be paid plentifold. You don't have to do the numbers. You don't have to worry about, you know, how much money, or you don't have to worry about if you picked up a tab one time, you know, if this person's going to pick up your tab another time. You don't have to worry about if you made an introduction in some networking capacity uh, to help somebody get a job or an interview or whatever, um, you know, if, if they're going to reimburse you. Just go out and do it. The world will repay you, okay? And you do that by putting other people on your back. Always offer, say, I'm going to help you get that job. I'm going to make introductions for you. I'm going to help, you know, my household, uh, you know, 
stand on his two feet to uh, go and survive. I'm going to help you through a tough time financially. I'm going to help you get through this tough time in your life by giving you guidance. I'm going to help you by help watching your kids while you go out there and get counseling or get through your drug or alcohol problem. I'm going to go out there and do the extra work if certain employees quit or if they simply have to be fired because they're not performing up the part to keep the business going. You've got to be willing to do that and put others on your back and do what it takes. And number three, and this really I think is the most important thing, that the vast majority of people will not do and never do okay is you literally have to hit the reset button on your mind and what does this mean it means that if you're somebody uh, who is not happy with your life right now and you have not experienced success and you have not gotten to a point uh, that you're satisfied with or let's say much worse than that say you're terrible you're horrible you're miserable you're you know very 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 um, undersatisfied with, 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 with what you've done in life you need to realize that it is your current thoughts and your current fears and your cur the current obstacles that you're dealing with that you need to rid of because they're holding you back like a ball in chains, like you're in a jail behind bars. They are the bars that hold you from going forward and escaping to doing what you want to do. So you literally need to hit the reset button on your mind and you need to let go of certain thoughts and certain things that your mind is fixated on. That is how you are going to open up your mind, the pathways of your mind, the pathways of your heart uh, to receive uh, thoughts, uh, emotions, uh, and uh, new methodologies that will lead you to more positive things and lead you to your own personal success, your personal growth. Okay, um, you know, you know. For example, if you are someone who is a true leader that puts people on your back, that, that stares fear in the eye, okay, and you're willing to put the reset button, you're going to experience a lot of. Uh, criticism, a lot of negative commentary, a lot of adversity, okay? I had a lot of people uh, who criticized uh, my wife and I uh, for moving halfway across country. Uh, I had a lot of people uh, who criticized me for leaving my corporate job uh, that provided a very good insurance package when I had three kids and just had a fourth that was just born. Uh, I had a lot of people that criticized me almost every single uh, day and every single week about what I do, but the fact that I am online, uh, that I have a presence, uh, that I'm on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, and I'm very active at it. And uh, people think that I'm annoying, right? Uh, I have a lot of people. Um, out there that don't like my YouTube videos, that don't like the blogs I write, uh, that don't like the speeches that I give, that don't like uh, the pitches that I give when I try to get you interested in the business opportunity. And I put up with it. And it's not easy at all. Uh, and sometimes it's easy to let get under your skin. But you know what? If you stare your fears in the eye and you are willing to do absolutely what it takes to put people on your shoulders and show people that you care about them, that you're willing to take them to the promised land of where they need to go to have things better in their life, okay? Uh, and if you're willing to press the reset button on your thoughts and say, okay, I am going to allow new types of thoughts to come to my head and thinking differently, okay? Right now, I think so much differently than I used to think, right? Um, for example, you know, uh, um, I don't view... Uh, you know, relocation uh, as something that is sad. I, I view it as something that is strategic, right? Uh, so I have formed my mind to let go of emotional ties, uh, and I have formed it to think in more of a business and more of a strategy type way, and it makes me more happy because I'm making decisions that are better uh, overall for my for my for my for my for my family and mine's lifestyle, right? Um, there are certain, um, I used to view, you know, be having, having, having an office and having coworkers next to me and having a typical corporate environment is something that was, you know, needed to do to fit in, to look normal, right? Uh, but, but then I started to look at it as a hindrance uh, to what was really important in my life. And of course, that was spending time with my family and being there for my family and having the time to do the things that I want to, f to fulfill myself and take care of myself personally. Right, so I had a shift in mindset to look at things more from what I would consider a practical standpoint as opposed to a fitting in standpoint. Uh, I'm more interested in the end results of my actions over time as how it affects uh, my family and myself um, 
to affect our overall happiness level as opposed to, you know, how it affects our ability to fit in uh, and go with the crowd, right? And I'm willing to put up with the adversity and I'm willing to put up with the negativity uh, to do that. And you know what? I've never been happier. Uh, so those are my three things, uh, the three things that you can do and you can start to implement into your life uh, starting tomorrow, starting today actually, uh, to lead uh, gradually to massive success in a very short period of time. I'm Tom McKeown, www.yourtruthchange.com. Thanks for watching.